I'm Megan Olivi, and here's what you need to know in your UFC Minute. This weekend, we have a stacked card with tons of solid fights with a main event you won't want to miss. When this fighter first began competing, the goal was always the same for the talented mixed martial artist to win a world championship. This weekend, live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California, the star gets his long-awaited crack at the UFC heavyweight crown in a fight that has fans around the world buzzing. That's it for today. Stay tuned for your next UFC Minute, and I'll see you at the fights. All right, coming up next, it is the UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World between Curtis Razorblades and Kimbo Slice. All right, so here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, making the walk to the octagon here tonight. He is challenging the champion, whom he has bad blood with, whom he believes he is better than. And obviously, as he makes the walk here tonight, he finally has the chance to prove that he and not the champion is the man who deserves the distinction as the baddest man on the planet. As he steps towards this cage, he understands this is one of the biggest moments in his life, the biggest moment in his career. He is looking to take this title, and he believes his time is now. His preparation has gone perfectly. He is in outstanding shape. He has a great game plan and a great camp, and he believes that he will emerge the new champion of the world tonight after this fight. Well, a lot of people think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. The champion headed to the cage right now is in the groove. He is in his prime right now. His training for this bout has been perfect. He believes he has a solid game plan and he's ready to step in here and retain his title. He is well prepared for this contest. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with similar height and some differences in reach. Here once more, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Lavey. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. <laughs> Fighting out of the three corners. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 25 wins, one loss. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 225 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, introducing the challenger, Kim And now, introducing the champion. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 36 wins, 12 losses, and one no contest. He stands 64 inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Curtis Mason.
UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. This is a fight that we have been looking forward to for a long time and is about to take place right now. I'm very excited. Scheduled for five rounds if need be. And with that, we are underway in round one. As many of you know, this fighter lost his last fight by submission. To the surprise of some, he was submitted despite being the betting favorite that night. So all eyes are on him tonight. The pressure is on him as he not only tries to maintain his spot on this UFC roster, but to prove that he can contend with the top 15 guys in this division. Oh, he gets tagged there. Nice combination to the head. Whoa! tips of his toes and figure out a way to get that head off the center line and out of harm's way. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Oh, he's going for his arm now. He pulled his arm out of it. Damaging punch there, making all these shots count. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Good shot to the body. He Ooh. lands a huge elbow to the head. Big Beautiful body, body shot. shot there, too. Vicious, vicious punch combinations here. the other fighter saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. Let's take a look at it from another angle here. This is the one that causes the knockdown and the subsequent follow-up strikes for the knockout. Great angle here. Bang! So the celebration is on for the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man on the planet, and your winner, yes, by knockout here tonight. The official decision Ladies is in. Gentlemen, referee Here's Bruce Buffer. 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 Here's Bruce Been talking about those two words throughout fight week and 
new UFC champion. He completes the mission here tonight, and you can see the emotion spilling over. Absolutely incredible what this fighter was able to accomplish, and it is gonna take a special performance to dethrone the new UFC champion of the world.